दिस इज आर डी शर्मा सोल्यूशन वी आर टेकिंग चैप्टर नंबर नाइन कॉन्टिन्यूटी एमसीक्यू मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ना हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ ए फॉर विच द फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सो वी आर बींग प्रोवाइडेड टू डिफरेंट फंक्शन फॉर एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस मे बी कॉन्टिन्यूस एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो so the, what you have to do is when it is not equal to zero that is if you want to find out the limit you have to use this and we have to equate it with the value at x equals zero okay so the whole exercise is uh, all about limits so if you are able to do the limits then it will be easy so limit extends to zero f(x) equals f0 basically we have to find f0 so for that consequently we have to find out the limit of this function and then we'll equate it to 12 log 4 to the power 3 so i'm taking the numerator first 4x minus 1 raised to the power 3 that is q now you know that a is x minus 1 by x if you take the limit of x tending to 0 what do you get you get log a please remember the base is e log it is basically ln so it is uh, a raised to the power x minus 1 by so you need uh, this x and already you have this x cube so if you introduce this x cube you have to have a x cube in the numerator also so 4x x minus x uh, minus 1 by x whole cube limit extends to 0 it is x cube we have introduced ourselves So what is the answer here? If you take the limit, it is log four. The base is e to the power three. Now coming to the denominator. So we have sine x by a log one plus x cube uh, x square. It is. So I'll just change it. You'll see there will be some problem coming. So I'll just change it. It is x square by. Uh, x square by three, so log one plus x by x. What is this? It is going to be one when limit x tending to uh, zero. So limit x tends to zero for sine theta by theta or sine x by x. Sine uh, this is going to be one. So we need a x by a in the denominator. So we have to have a x by a in the numerator. So what do you need in the denominator here? You need to have because this is log one plus x square by Three, uh, so you need x square by three in the denominator. So you will have x square by three in the numerator also. Please see that I am writing x cube, but it is x square actually. So you will just see what will happen. So this is going to be one sine theta by theta limit x tends to zero. This is going to be one sine log one plus x square by two divided by uh, x square by three divided by x square by three. This is going to be one. So what is remaining here? The numerator and denominator we are going to write. So x cube. Log four to the power three divided by x into x square and three a. It is not x cube. It is x square actually. So x cube x cube whole will get cancelled. So it will be only log four cube divided by three a, and that we will equate to twelve log four to the power three. Okay. as i was saying it is not x cube by 3 it is x square by 3 so let me just change it and then we can equate it so essentially uh, the whole idea is to find out the limit of the first function and we will equate it to 12 log 4 to the power 3 so this is log 4 to the power 3 and since 3a was in the denominator it goes One by denominator, so it goes up, and this log four to the power three is going to get cancelled from the right hand side also, because we are going to equate it with log four to the power three into twelve. So this gets cancelled three. So a is going to be four. So this x is is extra because as I told you, it was this was my mistake. So I accept that. and i'm going to change it i'm just going to amend it so the whole idea you understood how to find out a is a equals 
simply take the limit of the first function and equate it to the 12 log 4 cube. So I'm just changing it. It gets cancelled. X cube, x cube gets cancelled. This x, x which I just wrote was, uh, was non-essential. It was not there already because it was x square by uh, th uh, 3 actually. So A is equal to 4. The function fx is equal to 10x is discontinuous on the set. Now 10x is simply sin x by cos x. But you need to know about 10x also. What is the graph of 10x? Where it is, uh, you, you can say where it is um, valid, where it is not valid. So 10 to n plus 1 pi by 2, if we, if we take the third option, what do you get? 10 into 2n into pi by 2 plus pi by 2. If this gets cancelled, you get pi by 2 plus n pi. So 1090 minus theta, 1090 plus theta is cot theta. Add sugar to coffee if you see here. Uh, the pi by 2 plus theta is only positive or sine. So it will be a negative. And always 90 plus theta or 90 minus theta, the, the, the tan will change to cot, sine will change to cos like that. So it will be cot n pi and negative, negative of this. It is in the second quadrant. Now cot n pi, if you understand it uh, very closely, it is simply cos n pi by sin n, n pi. But we know that cos of, uh, we are interested in the denominator. So we will not be talking about cos n pi. Sin n pi, sin 0 is 0, sin 180, sin 360 is 0, n pi that is 2 pi is 360 degree. So when you have the 0 in the denominator, because it is essentially coming, 0 is coming here. Sin pi, sin 2 pi, sin 180 degree, sin 0 degree, sin 360 degree, 0 and 360 degree, they are 0. So you have in the denominator 0, but you cannot afford it. Because this is indescribable. Right? So this is undefined. That is why this third option is the correct option for the discontinuity on the set where fx is equal to 10x and 2n plus 1 pi by 2 where n belongs to z because we have already seen this is not defined at the integral points 1, 2, 3, etc. The function fx is equal to sin 3x by x and k by 2. It is sin 3x by x when it is not equal to 0. Otherwise, it is k by 2. So this is continuous at x equals to 0. So you just have to take limit x tends to a which is x tends to 0 here. And sin 3x by this is, uh, x is simply fx. And this is equal to f0. What is fa? f0. So we'll type, just find out the limit of sin 3x by x. And we'll equate it to k by 2. So sin 3x by x it is. So introduce 3 in the denominator in the numerator also. And you have sine theta by theta limit theta tends to 0. It is always equal to 1. So we have introduced this 3 in the denominator. So we have to have a 3 in the numerator. Sine theta by theta is 1. Only 3 will remain. And what it is equal to? It is equal to k by 2 which is essentially equal to f0. So k by 2 is equal to 3. That is k is equal to 6. This is your answer. If the function fx is equal to 2x minus sin inverse x divided by 2x plus tan inverse x. This is continuous at each point of its domain. Then the value of f0 is. This is continuous. I just have to find out the limit. I just equate it to f0. That is the value of the function at the point of discontinuity. So we have to find out limit. Again, the, the main uh, crux of this exercise is finding out the limit. 2x minus sin inverse x divided by 2x plus tan inverse x. What you can do here is, you know that sin inverse by x and tan inverse by x, limit x tends to 0 is 1. So you can take a x common. It will be 2 minus sin inverse x by x. Then you can take x common here also. You will get 2 plus tan inverse x by x. As I said, you need to remember sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0, 1. Sin inverse x by x limit theta x tends to 0 is 1. Similar for 10 because 10 is simply sine by cos. 
So when you apply the limit, it is going to be 1. So replace this by 1, all these. So 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 it is. It is going to be 1 by 3 and that is F0. 1 by 3 is the answer. The value of B for which the function this. So you have the point of discontinuity or continuity as 1. So this is continuous at every point out on its domain it is given in the question. So this is 0, this is 1, 2. So the point of contention is or the continuity discontinuity is 1. And so it is, since it is given already that, that it is continuous. So we will be taking the left hand limit and right hand limit in terms of 1 and equating it so that we can get B. So we need just one equation to solve uh, this B. So left hand limit will take x as my 1 minus h. On the right hand side we are going to take uh, right hand limit we are going to take x as 1 plus h. So this is 5 into 1 minus h minus 4. On the right hand limit it is 1 plus h. So 4 1 plus h whole square plus 3b into 1 plus h. We have to replace x by also 1 plus h. So this is going to be if you replace this h by 0 apply the limit here itself. It is going to be 5 minus 4 that is 1. Here you have 4 into 1 plus h square, uh, that is 4 only, then 3b into, again if you apply limit here, 1 plus h, it will be 3b plus 3bh, 3bh will be 0 and 3b it will be. So 4 plus 3b is equal to 1, 3b is equal to 1 minus 4, that is minus 3b is equal to negative 1, that is your answer. If fx is equal to 1 by 1 minus x, then the set of points uh, discontinuity of the function f of f of fx. So there are three levels of fx. First fx, then f of fx, then f of f of fx. So let us start with fx first. 1 by 1 minus x. Now please remember every time in mathematics denominator cannot be 0. 1 by 0 is not defined. It cannot be defined, right? 0 in the denominator is not acceptable. So when are you going to get 0 in the denominator for this fx or this function? When 1 minus x is equal to 0, when it will be? When is x is equal to 1? So first is 1, but you have 1 in all these 3. So you have to go for some other value also when we apply these 3 levels of fx. Now f of fx is what? Replace x by 1 by 1 minus x in this. So 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 minus x. Okay. So this becomes 1 by 1 minus x minus 1 by 1 minus x. So 1 minus x minus 1 divided by 1 minus x. This 1 minus x goes in the numerator. 1 minus x minus 1. So uh, negative 1 and 1 gets cancelled, you are remained with minus x. Now I'll just change the position of x and 1 in the numerator so that you get x minus 1 divided by x because negative sign is avoided or we have got rid of that thing. x minus 1 by x. Now you cannot have a denominator again as 0 so x cannot be 0. So this is a point where you have a discontinuity. Please remember, again I am reiterating, 0 cannot be in the denominator. It's absolutely not, not acceptable. 0 and 1 is the answer. But we still haven't reached the third level. So whatever has come, you have to put it in, in 1 by 1 minus x. So you have to go one more level. This x minus 1 by x has to be replaced in the place of x of 1 by 1 minus x. So let us replace it. 1 by 1 minus x, so in place of x, put x minus 1 by x. Okay. So what do you get? You get 1 by x minus x plus 1. This x goes in the numerator. This x by x is cancelled 1. So this is x in the numerator, so it doesn't matter whatever it comes. But the 1 and zeros, uh, 0 is a problem. So this second is the answer. fx equals to tan pi by x 4 minus x divided by cot 2x and x should not be equal to pi by 4. You can check it cot 2 into pi by 4 is cot this is 2 by 4 so cot 90 it will be pi by 2 actually and this is this is not defined. 
that this is not defined so this is undefined and when it is not undefined you cannot means it is zero because 10 pi by 2 is infinity 1 by 10 in, 1 by infinity is zero so you cannot have a zero in the denominator that is why it, the question is itself saying x cannot be equal to pi by 4 so the value which should be assigned to fx at x equals 5 by pi by 4 so that it is continuous everywhere is so you don't have to do anything you just have to find out the limit of this function and since you have to equate it with uh, f pi by 4 the function value at pi by 4 so let us see here this is continuous everywhere so the left hand limit and right hand limit you don't have to find out because it is already continuous left hand limit and right hand limit has to be equal so i am just saying you can either put pi by 4 minus h you can either put pi by 4 plus h it's, it's up to you right so let us find out the limit here i am just uh, taking pi by 4 minus h you can always take pi by 4 plus h it's up to you because lhl and rhl are going to come same so i am replacing pi by 4 minus h h is tending to 0 so limit h tends to 0 10 pi by 4 minus now replace it by pi by 4 minus h in place of x pi by 4 minus h okay so let us see what it comes in the denominator cot twice of pi by 4 minus h so in the numerator you get pi by 4 minus pi by 4 plus h so it is 10h only pi by 4 minus pi by 4 plus h it gets cancelled you have 10h and divided by cot you can just multiply this 2 with pi by 4 minus h so 2 into pi by 4 minus 2h it will be so this is pi by 2 minus h and cot 90 minus theta is tan theta cot pi by 2 minus h 2h it is so tan 2h it will be so it is tan 2h now 10h by tan 2h so tan theta by theta limit theta tends to 0 is 1 you know about that tan sin theta by theta is also 1 so 10h by h i am uh, introducing So h will be extra, and tan two h by two h, so two h will be extra. Now apply the limit in both of these numerator and denominator. So tan h by h and tan two h by two h is going to be equal to one. So only one by two will remain. H H gets cancelled. So f by f pi by four is going to be half one by two. Now the function f x is equal to this. and uh, this is not defined for x equals 2 you can see if you put x as 2 in the denominator you'll get 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0 and that 0 in the denominator is not acceptable at all so in order to make the function fx continuous at x equals 2 here f2 should be defined as again the same concept you have to find out the limit of this function at x equals 2 So f two has to be found out. That is basically the limit. Now you have to find out the factorization. I am not going to tell you how to factorize it because this is the basic thing. Six, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. You have been doing this factorization now and again, always. So this factorization is important. And x minus two whole square into x plus five z is the factorization. If you have any problem, just take the reference on the left hand side, which I put an arrow. so this is because you you are in 12th you need to know how to this how to do this uh, factorization okay coming to uh, the denominator so x minus 2 whole square and x plus 5 x minus 2 in the denominator you just cancel these two out x minus 2 into x plus 5 now just replace x by 2 here because it is limit x tends to 2 what do you get it's 0 into uh, 7 But it doesn't matter seven is there or not because x zero x minus two that is two minus two is zero only, so you get a final zero. F two is zero, right? So in order to make f x continuous at x equals two, f two should be defined as zero. So the main uh, idea of this question is to find out what find out the factor. If you are not able to find out the factor, you will not be able to solve this question. Factorization is important. So everything is important. Trigonometry, etc., etc. Okay, this we are going to take in the next discussion. Till then, thank you so much and take care of yourself.